Hi, I'm Matthew, and I'm going to step through the process for calibrating uh, an air pump so that we can use it with these Kitagawa tubes. We're going to use a very simple method, which is to draw a bubble using just bubble solution down a graduated cylinder. Um, and we'll time that operation and write down our readings. I'm going to use my cell phone as a, um, as a timer. And um, our goal is to get, is to measure exactly 0.3 liters or 300 milliliters worth of air per minute moving through this aquarium pump. Then we'll be ready to run our tests on our formaldehyde sensitive tubes. Point 0.3 liters of air is equal to 300 milliliters. So we can get 300 milliliters per minute or 300 milliliters every 60 seconds. So the way our measurement is going to work is we have a 250 milliliter graduated cylinder. We're going to start a film of soap bubble going across the top and then time it as it travels down, starting a timer at 250 milliliters and stopping at 50. Over that 200 milliliter period of time, we're going to try to get to 40 seconds. That'll get us the 0.3 liters of air that we want. So we're going to repeatedly do this and then adjust the valve on uh, the pump until we get to 0.3 liters of air. OK, so I'm here with the pump. I've poured out a little bit of bubble liquid into a tray. And I have a cup of water. I'm going to use these to wet down the cylinder so that the bubble will travel along its side without getting stuck. So I'm going to put a little bit of, uh, I'm going to take the air hose off of the graduated cylinder and put a little bit of water in it. I'm going to coat the sides with pure bubble solution. Start over. Okay. I'm going to wait till it hits 250 and start my stopwatch. So our first reading was 38 seconds, which is a little bit less time than the 40 seconds we're looking for. So I'm going to dial the valve down a little bit. Restrict the flow. I'm only moving it about a quarter of a turn. So with our graduated cylinder, we uh, timed 40.1 seconds to travel 200 milliliters, which is uh, three, 299 milliliters per minute of a flow rate, very close to our 0.3 liter per minute target. So now let's see how well we've calibrated with this mini buck uh, primary calibrator. It also runs on bubbles like our graduated cylinder method, only it has two automated sensors to time the transit of the bubble. It runs a little bit faster. It has similar problems with bubbles building up or popping before the, the uh, measurement has been taken. But um, we'll run a test here and see how well our, measure, our measurements correspond. I cleaned out the mini buck calibrator, so take two. Turn the pump on, and now let's take a measurement and see what our graduated cylinder measurement, cylinder measurement was like.
300 exactly. Let's do a couple more tests just to be sure. So we have uh, measurements of 298 and 300 milliliters per minute. So the measurement with our mini butt calibrator uh, corresponds with the measurements we made with our uh, graduated cylinder almost exactly, which is great. So we're ready to run this pump as a formaldehyde tester. And uh, you know we've calibrated the pump with uh, equipment that costs $10 instead of 1000